Developing this morning, questions growing over Little Rock's ability to host Razorback football games in the future. Last hour, if you were with us, we spoke about issues at the stadium Saturday, but there's an even greater concern, and that was the attendance. Wake Up Central's Journey Taylor covers our conversation starter this morning. Journey? Yeah, Karen, there were dozens of people who attended the game Saturday who voiced their concerns on lack of water, wait times, and more. There was one tweet that sparked conversation for those who didn't attend the game. Take a look. The Razorbacks communications account posted attendance for today's season opener at War Memorial Stadium, 44,397. Well, that's slightly more than the last time the Hawks played in Little Rock against UAPB two years ago, but it's still below the minimum attendance requirement for games in Little Rock, which is said to be 47,000. Now we have a conversation started going and we want you to join in this morning. We're asking, do you support Razorback games in Little Rock despite Saturday's troubles? And we have received a few responses so far since the last half hour. Let's start here. This person, Mr. David and Brian, he says I'm a lifelong Razorback fan and I'm done with games in Little Rock. No other SEC school has a secondary stadium and Coach Pittman can't even recruit here because of SEC rules. Razorback Stadium is the best place to show off the Hogs and there are other uses for a War Memorial Stadium. Someone else said, my thing is, if people don't like it, don't go. Problem solved, because some of us like War Memorial. All right. Also, another person said, good morning. They only play sorry games in Little Rock. That e that's easy to win. Why not Florida, Alabama, and Georgia? We also got another response that said, Tina from Little Rock, we need more games in Little Rock and we need to find a better way to serve larger crowds again. Come up with better solutions. All right, well, we still have one more chance to join in on the conversation. We want you to text us at 501-376-1111 with your name and town and tell us your thoughts. We'll share your final thoughts in about 10 minutes, but also later today, THV 11 plans to follow up with stadium management today on the reported problems. Karen? That will be an interesting question to pose, how they see it. Thank yeah. you, Journey, many differing opinions.